Hey guys, Cal Yuga back again with part three of our Dream Studio website beta explainer videos. And today we are going to touch on CFG scale and steps. And then we'll also be discussing seeds, locking seeds, and changing prompts while your seed is locked. So the CFG scale basically controls how close your output image matches with how the model is parsing your input text. The default is really good for most things seven. Pretty good if you have a super detailed or complicated prompt. Might be good to bump it up. You can always you know, experiment with it, figure out a system that works for you. And we're also going to talk about steps, which, like it says here, how many steps to spend generating or diffusing your image. And again, 50, the default, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, but we'll experiment with bumping a little bit higher. Something to note about both CFG scale and steps is the more you bump it up on both of these, the longer it's going to take to generate and also the more resources it uses to generate, which means it might be a setting to just be a little bit strategic about. So here you can see we've generated an image using the default prompt and the default settings. And in order to explore how CFG scale and steps impact your eventual image output, we're gonna lock our seed, which is sort of like the secret code that lets us generate the same image again and again and again for a specific prompt. That way we'll have a consistent image to look at as we mess with some of these more advanced settings. So let's start by exploring steps. So the default, is 50 steps, which again is usually a pretty good value, especially when you're first trying to refine an idea and take it from the conception stage to the, okay, does this work as a prompt? How do I want to tweak this stage? That way you're not wasting a bunch of compute. Let's see what happens when we bump our step number up to, let's do 100. All right, so again, we're using the same seed, which should give us basically the same underlying image structure, but it will be generating with twice the number of steps. All right, so there's not a whole lot different, really. Um, sometimes this can make a huge difference, sometimes less so. It really kind of depends on how much you have going on in your prompt and also what you have going on as a CFG scale. Since we mentioned CFG scale, let's actually bump that up now too. Now that we're at 100 steps, let's do a higher CFG scale, which will determine how much your output looks like the text that you've input as your prompt. So let's turn up CFG scale to, let's, let's do 11. Um, usually for my own work, I like to land between about 10 and 14, generally higher for more complicated prompts, but 11 seems like it would be a good starting point for this prompt. All right, there you go. You can see that a lot more detail has sprung into sharp relief. There's more detail in the clouds and the hills in, in the person himself. Let's try bumping it up a little bit more and see what happens there. Let's try 14. And again, just continuing on that trend of more intense detail, sharper relief. It is possible to overdo this though, which will basically end up giving you a deep fried version of your image. Um, so let's bump this all the way up to 20 and see if that deep fries this image. All right, so you can see that things are starting to get kind of pixelated at the edges here. There's some, still some really nice light and detail going on, but this is starting to get down towards deep fried. If we turn down steps back down to 50, that'll be even more the case, and you'll be able to see what I mean even more. All right, so do you see this artifact right here? This is a classic indication that you have either too high a CFG scale, too few steps, or both. You'll get these weird blue nebulous blobs. That's just a good indication that something needs some tweaking. And the last thing that we're going to go over today is just a further extension of the concept of seeds. One of the really nice things about stable diffusion is that the seed of the image generates the same image every time if you have the same prompt, but one of the really cool things you can do with seed is when it's locked, you can go and change your prompt a little bit and get it to give you variations on the same image, the same sort of structure, just with like slightly different wording. So let's do a dream of a distant spiral galaxy, uh, dream of a distant, how about a distant uh, vapor wave, spiral galaxy, and then keep everything else the same. Let's make our CFG scale 14 and our steps 100. That's sort of roughly where I usually generate and make sure that we have the correct seed in the seed box and let's see what happens. And there you go. So you can tell it's definitely using the same sort of underlying structure, but the colors are different, the shapes are different. It's a totally different vibe, and you can do some really cool, really advanced things with this. I mean, there's basically no limit to what you can make with Dream Studio and with Stable Diffusion, and I hope that you guys have as much fun playing with this and creating some really beautiful pieces as I've been having.